असलम दिस इज़ टॉक टू फरीन नजम फ्राम डिवीजन ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड सोशल साइंसेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन लॉयर माल कैंपस लाहौर द कोर्स टाइटल इज एडवास्ड लैंडस्केप पेंटिंग एंड द कोर्स कोर एज फाइन फोर वन थ्री फाइव टूडे आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट लैंडस्केप पेंटिंग इन एबस्ट्रैक्ट एक्सप्रेशनिज्म difference between representation and abstract let's differentiate between two types of painting representational and abstract we call a painting representational if it portrays specific recognizable physical objects In some cases the representational paintings look true to life almost like a photograph For example consider the following painting by Rembrandt When you look at this painting it is easy to recognize what you are looking at there are eight men wearing funny looking clothing and on a table in front of the man lies a dead man whose arm is being dissected it is easy to identify all the objects in the painting as well as the overall meaning of the painting abstract paintings abstract paintings are different they have design shapes or colors that do not look like specific physical objects such as abstract paintings are a lot harder to understand than representational paintings indeed When you look at an abstract painting you often have no idea what it is you are actually seeing let's see if we can make sense out of this in general there are two types of abstract painting the first type of abstract painting portrays object that have been abstracted taken from nature also what you see may not look realistic it is close enough that you can at least get an idea of what you are looking at if you have ever seen any of the paintings of claude monet you will know what i mean in monet In 1899 Monet began to paint a series of paintings called water lilies. These paintings depict the garden at the, his house in Gavarnie, France. Although the objects in the painting don't really look like lilies or water or clouds, they are close enough that you can get a feelings for what you are seeing second type of abstract painting sometimes referred to as pure abstract art is even more obtuse such paintings do not reflect any form of conventional reality all you see are shapes colors lines patterns and so on here for example in a painting of spanish painter john mero as you can see nothing is in this painting is recognizable there are no people fruit or even water lilies figurative abstraction 
one kind of abstract art you can make is figurative abstractions figurative abstractions are abstractions or simplification of reality where detail is eliminated from recognizable objects leaving only the essence or some degree of recognizable form examples of figurative uh, abstraction another abstract expressionism there is also abstract expressionism this kind of abstract art started in 1946 expressionism abstract paintings include dripping droppings patterning and even throwing paint onto a canvas expressionism abstract got its name because it is seen as combining emotional intensity and self expression the most famous artist of abstract expressionism jackson pollock you can see his work another painting another artist andrea costial abstract painting Chris Pakani artist of abstract expressionism work another artist Hinata Bernal abstract artist she was born in Germany 1937 her work these were made with the acrylic airbrush can see her painting small landscape made with oil paints William da Conning another abstract artist would be William da Conning
was born in 1904 and grew up in Holland. Some of his work. Thanks.